Dean reporting on the deaths of two young EMTs is devastating people well beyond the public safety community. There's been an outpouring of condolences from city leaders and the community at large. In fact, there's a growing memorial at the site of the crash, and that's where RTV6 reporter Ebony Monet is tonight with the latest there. Ebony? Good evening, Drew. As you might expect, some people are stopping here at the crash site, leaving flowers and other tokens, while other people are coming empty-handed and just taking a few moments of silence, a few moments to reflect on the loss. There are flowers and teddy bears near the downtown intersection where police say a car crashed into an IEMS ambulance, toppling it over, with EMTs Cody Medley and Tim McCormick inside. Um, he's one of the sweetest guys I've ever met. Uh, he cares about everyone, does what he can to help everyone out that he knows any way he can. On Facebook, people express their condolences through messages and video tributes. 24-year-old McCormick died hours after the early Saturday morning crash, while doctors say 22-year-old Medley hung on until early Sunday. Both men joining IEMS in 2010, and for both, Indianapolis was an adopted home. McCormick by way of New York and Medley from Pennsylvania, leaving a lasting impression along the way in Sunman, Indiana, where he got his first experience as an EMT. He was very respectful, uh, quiet demeanor when he was here. Um, he, he, he just wanted to gather that information and, and, as I said, move on with his life. He knew what his career set was going to be. But um, uh, just one of the n nicest young men you ever want to meet. What I'm telling you is to keep your head up, keep your spirits high, and keep working at whatever it is you're trying to accomplish with your life. When he wasn't encouraging young people to be themselves as part of the It Gets Better campaign, you could find McCormick making silly videos for laughs. His roommate says both reflect his spirit. He was always smiling. It doesn't matter how bad things got for him. He, he was always able just to, to put on a happy face to so that his issues wouldn't affect others. The two men who friends and family describe as kind and outgoing, who dedicated themselves to helping others, are now being remembered. In addition to that public memorial, rather, later this week, city leaders are also asking that flags be lowered to half-staff in honor of the two young men. Reporting live downtown, Ebony Monet, RTV6. And stay with RTV6 